Today I'm going to talk about how to become a professional photographer if you're broke. Photography is so expensive. There are no two ways around it. I have spent the last 12 to 13 years buying camera kit. It's just a never ending battle. Now in the last few months, I bought a lot of camera kit, but when I first started, I wasn't able to do that. So when I started in photography, I was skint. I had no money. There's no rich parents bankrolling me. I had to buy everything myself. So I started off having to borrow a 450D for my uncle and a kit lens. And I was so frustrated because I was constantly thinking, how on earth am I going to compete with this guy with a Hasselblad and loads of Broncolor kit when I'm sat here with a basic camera and a kit? And the problem is I was comparing my beginning to the sort of the end of someone else's career. These guys were 50, 60 years old, been doing it since they were kids and had built this up over time. And the important thing to remember is it gets easier to buy kit the longer you've been doing it. Getting my first camera, which was a 50D, which cost me, I think five or 600 pounds compared to buying, I think I bought four Canon 5D Mark IIs one week because I needed them for a job. That was an easier purchase than buying my first camera. But when you've got a 50D and you see someone buying four 5D Mark IIs, you just think, how on earth am I ever going to be able to do that? Then more recently, I've invested in loads of lenses and loads of equipment for my studio. Buying that was not as difficult as buying my first Canon Speedlight. The problem with photography is yes, it's very expensive, but also the rate of pay is quite high. Now, when you're starting out charging 50 pounds, 200 pounds, 400 pounds for a shoot, it seems impossible to be able to afford these things whilst being able to live. But as you move along after about 10 years and you're charging a thousand pounds, 5,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds for a shoot, it becomes much easier. The problem is nobody wants to talk about the gap in between. So when people give me grief on Instagram or Facebook going, well, it's fine for you, you've got loads of camera kit. It took me a long time to get it. And it's only now that I'm actually able to afford to buy it. And I'm still tight as hell. I had a friend who wants to start a YouTube channel too, and he's not doing it until he's got all this particular kit. Whereas for me, when I started my YouTube channel, I had to use what I had. The only purchase I really made were these lanterns, which cost 50 pence each. I don't think you can see them, but here's a lantern with light bulbs in them. That's all I bought because I had no video lights. All my lighting was flash photography. Apart from that, I just use everything I've got and I make it work because there's no point in wasting that money. I'm not going to be better at doing this if I buy a better camera. It's not going to help. But when we're starting out and we're reading the online forums, we read all these reviews. I remember someone telling me very early on, you cannot be a pro unless you have at least a Canon 5D camera. And I remember looking at it and that's three and a half thousand pounds. I'm struggling to buy a 500 pound camera. How on earth am I ever going to become a pro? But the thing is all this kit's wasted on you for the first decade anyway. And at the time it doesn't feel like it. I remember at the time thinking, I need this kit to get better. But looking back on it, Whenever I bought a new lens or a new bit of kit, it didn't make me any better. If anything, it made me temporarily slightly worse. So I went, oh, I've bought a 1.4 lens. I shot everything at 1.4 like an idiot. All of those images are useless. They're all rubbish. There's a good three months of content which could have been shot, which was just, it just doesn't exist. So the take home is this. If you're broke and you want to be a photographer, go and get the cheapest camera you can buy. If you have a phone at the moment, use that. It is not limiting you, I promise you. Whatever kit you have will be good enough. If it's a phone camera, if it's a point and shoot that's like 20 years old. For the first 10 years, you're learning how to take photographs, not learning how to use gear. It is only in the last two or three years that the equipment's mattered to my job. Up until then, I could have still stuck with that 450D. Granted the kit lens, I would have needed to upgrade to a 51.8. But apart from that, anything else I bought was just wasted money in hindsight. Buying a fleet of 5D Mark IIs didn't make me any more money than the 50D did. Getting the 50D didn't make me any more money than having the 450D. And it's when things go wrong that you realize this. I turned up to a big shoot and I'd rented something daft like half a million pounds worth of kit for this huge ad campaign and the courier got lost. I was absolutely cacking it. I had a speed light, a trigger system, a Canon 5D Mark II and an 85mm 1.8. I went to the nearest camera shop in London, bought the cheapest umbrella, shoot through jobby, bracket and light stand I could find and I shot it on that and nobody battered an eyelid. Nobody cares what kit you have. I've got to put my phone on silent. But you just need to get a bit more self-belief and it's great me saying, I'm going to put that on silent now. 
And it's great me saying that sat here with loads of kit 12, 13 years into my career because I didn't realize it at the time. I was so stressed. I was so constantly paranoid about my equipment not being good enough. I had loads of friends who'd got a bit, well, I say a bit more, a lot more money than me because I was out. When I say I was broke, I was on benefits, no money, absolutely skint broke. There was, I had more debts that I couldn't physically pay monthly on my benefits. I got myself into a real mess and it took me a long time to get out of that. Thankfully, I'm now out of it. I'm not Mr. Moneybags though. Um, but luckily I have very cheap or low aspirations for physical things. My t-shirt costs two pounds, the pair of jeans I'm wearing cost 15 pounds. My shoes are expensive, but I always buy expensive shoes because they last longer, it's actually cheaper, which is a tangent altogether. But I don't, I don't have any want for material items. And if you want to be a photographer and you are skinned, you need to sack off any extra expenses. So no eating out, no buying takeaway coffees, all that sort of stuff. The only thing I've bought, which is lavish in the last few years, is a coffee machine that I bought, which costs quite a bit of money with a grinder. But apart from that, I don't, I don't have wants for you know material possessions. So to conclude, because I've gone on a tangenty waffly exploration, if you're starting out in photography and you are broke, do not worry. The kit will come to you when you need it. At the point where people are paying you regularly, you will have enough money to buy the kit. Don't try and buy it if you don't have the money. Don't get it on credit. Don't stress about it. Whatever kit you have is good enough for the clients who are paying you. So put yourself out there, do the work. When you make enough money, upgrade slowly. Buy everything secondhand. I barely bought any brand new camera kit. I go and, this is horrible, it's like grave robbing, I guess. When a studio goes bankrupt, I'm in there buying their stuff. When somebody decides they don't want to be a photographer, I will take that stuff for cheap. You need to be smart with your purchases. Only buy things if you know there'll be a return on that investment. Because if you want to be a pro, it's not about having the best camera, it's about making money doing the job. So I hope this is of use to you. It doesn't really fit into any of my categories, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna release this, it'll just come out randomly, maybe even today. But stay calm, don't stress. Things will happen at their own pace but have the patience. It'll take a decade to get to a point where you're making enough money to go and buy fancy camera kit if you want to do that. I hope this has been of use to you. If you like these videos, do hit subscribe. I've got a weekly questions video, a gear review, a how-to, and a vlog now. It's, I think I've done more than I can actually, I think I've been off more than I can chew, but anyway, here we go. We'll go with it until I have some sort of breakdown. I'll see you all soon. Thank you very much.